Hi, I'm Dr. Michael Berglund and welcome to NotMedicine.com. Today, we're going to be talking to you today about bacterial infections. Bacterial infections can uh, come in a wide spectrum of areas in the body. We have, can have bacterial infections all throughout our body. Sometimes, in the nutritional realm, uh, it, we give things for specific areas. For instance, in the stomach, you have something called an ulcer, or it could be a peptic ulcer, stomach ulcer, or a duodenal ulcer. In those situations, there's a, a bacteria that sometimes causes that, and that's Helicobacter pylori. Now, Helicobacter pylori uh, usually shouldn't survive the stomach acid, but in some cases it does, and when it does, it can create a real problem in, in the stomach, and until we clear it, there will continue to be an ulcer there. So uh, that, remember that bacteria is Helicobacter pylori. I have to throw that out because, you know, I went to school. So uh, There's three different supplements that we use here, um, and they all have a different formulation, but they're all effective at get, getting rid of Helicobacter pylori. All right. the, uh, the other region that has specific uh, nutritional products for it uh, is the bladder, the urinary tract. Okay? But specifically, bladder infections are unique because a lot of times we don't have to give, we could give something like a golden seal that has an, anti, is an antibacterial across the spectrum, but we could give something like cranberry, which isn't going to mess with anything other than just giving your body something that will actually keep the bacteria from sticking to the walls of the bladder. That bladder infection is also known as cystitis in case you see it that way. The other one, uh, this is called cystostatin. Uh, this has a product called Uva Ursi in addition to a couple other things in there. It does similar things like cranberry, but it's more antibacterial. All right. So none of these are antibiotics like you see penicillin or erythromycin or tetracycline where they uh, attack the genetic repro reproducing capability of a bacteria. These are, are more create an environment the bacteria don't like to multiply in. So we don't have to really worry about at some point in time the bacteria growing resistant to uh, golden seal for instance. These are my favorites. Golden seal and, and olive leaf extract. Wonderful antibacteria, bac antibacterials. Uh, they're great if someone has a uh, bacteria that doesn't belong in the intestines. Uh, they have sinus problems, ear infections. Um, I'll even use golden seal for pink eye. Uh, fabulous product. Uh, this one's more of a broad spectrum antibiotic. Uh, it's called abiotic. It has in it garlic, onion, a few different other things in there that are actually uh, um, antibacterial. So we'll attack it from multiple different sides. Um, this is my strong one. This is uh, oil of oregano. It's actually called ADP, and it's got. Um, it fights viruses, it fights bacteria, it fights yeast, and it also fights parasite. Now it tends to be rather strong, so a lot of people can't handle it, but uh, it will whip through a sinus infection. Um, and a nice part about it is it's time release, so it will release gradually over a period of hours. The last two are more gentle. They're very appropriate for giving for uh, kids, infants. This is a, home, a bacterial homeopathic. Um, and we just give it and they hold it in their mouth for 10 seconds and swallow. It's very simple. This last one is a favorite of the clinic here. Um, it's Echinacea Golden Seal. Uh, I use this in combination with Sea Zinc Spray. Both of them have a, are very, very effective at getting rid of infections. This one specifically for bacterial infections. I thank you for stopping at notmedicine.com today and come back anytime. I'm Dr. Michael Berglund.